In this video, I'll show you how you can configure your operators so it fits your structure perfectly. To get to the Operators overview, let's head to Config and then select Operators. You will now see a list of your existing operators as well as all crucial information on one glance, such as the role of each operator, their operator group, time zone, whether they're currently online in the chat panel, and how many chat slots they have. Get a more targeted overview by filtering by operator group. To add a new operator to your team, click on Add Operator and fill out this short form with basic information. Type in the operator's name and the username, which is the name that will show up in your system. It might be that the username is already taken. You can just add some numbers to the name you choose, so it becomes available. The email address also has to be unique. With the role setup, you can manage the permissions you want the operator to have. For a detailed overview of the capabilities each role has, take a look at the roles menu on the left. The language you set will be the language of the dashboard and chat panel that your operator sees. Jack Sawyer is an American support rep, so we want him to access UserLike in English too. By assigning your operators to different groups, you make sure your customers get to the right person for their request. Now that you've created the operator, Let's take a look at the advanced settings. We offer some stock photos for the operator picture that will be shown when he's in the chat with a customer. But we recommend you upload a real photo of the operator here. Many people aren't sure if they're talking to a real person in the live chat. If you add an authentic picture of your operator, you ensure a personal connection and take that fear away. We also recommend that you set the operator's real name, so it's authentic and you don't risk running into contradictions when switching channels. If you don't want to show this information, however, you can use an alias. Under Notifications, you can manage which events the operator receives via email, browser, and audio. These notifications ensure you don't miss any chats even if you're not in the chat panel, but browsing on a different page. Enable shortcuts to make your workflow more efficient and define the number of chat slots. These are the number of chats the operator can handle at the same time. We recommend three to get started. Did one of your operators forget their password? No problem. You can simply reset it here and they will receive a new password via email. That's it for a quick overview of our operator setup. Thanks for watching and happy chatting.